think when you uh, sometimes we get away from the fundamentals. When we get away from the fundamentals. You know, chaos uh, comes from that. And, uh, it's only in one little area, uh, but it turns into a big deal when we get away from it. So, uh, you know, you have a lot of talent, and things come easy to you at times. Uh, that can actually keep you from getting to where you could potentially be because you're not getting stayed up with you, not getting as demanding uh, through the, the whole process. Throughout the season, you can beat teams playing average basketball uh, when our intent should be uh, playing excellent basketball. It's just human nature. It's something you got to fight to, you know, to get through where we need to get through, uh, which was the last series tested us and made us get through it and made us have a difficult time on the basketball. You've been pretty vocal on the bench during the game? Uh, you try to pick your spots. Um, <clears throat> sometimes too many voices can be too many voices. So, you know, you got to pick your spots and find the right time. Uh, understand that the player, the worst time to talk to me is when I just made a mistake. So, here was some time and just, you know, it's all. Uh, using your experience and your history and knowing uh, how to approach some guys. At this point in the season, can you talk about how difficult it is to lock in um, with the mental fatigue more so than just the physical fatigue? No, I think with two weeks left, you know, uh, kind of like you only got two weeks left, so just focus and uh, try to get it done. Uh, does your thought process you change uh, about when you're ready to come back because of who you have to guard? You know what I mean? Like the idea of guarding Brian at 90%. Might not be a great idea. Does that, does that formula change? Um, nah, because I don't even think I'll get back to 90. But uh, I feel like uh, just me being on the court helps the team. And, uh, that doesn't take anything from anyone else, take away from anyone else. But uh, just knowing where to be and uh, knowing my teammates just as well as anyone else, uh, just being out there is, is a factor. So. Uh, that's the thought process. What's your, uh, what's your trophy? You, 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 you were looking at the court and you thought, oh, I would have done this differently. Do you remember at what point that was in what game? It was like out of a timeout, so nothing like in particular happened. You know, it wasn't. And then I just, like I said, switched it off and, you know, how can I help Looney? Like, where should Looney be? Where can I get him in a position where he can uh, be a threat on the floor? So. you remember what game that was? Uh, it might have been game seven. I don't know. Hey, what was your trophy? Trophy? Yeah, yeah. MVP trophy. I don't know. I ain't yeah. seen it in a while. <laughs> did, did, does that moment still mean a lot to you? Uh, that's probably not good to say, but no, not really. Why is that? I don't know. I think I just, uh, I don't know. I look at things differently, you know, when you have success uh, throughout your career. Uh, I don't know. I just think differently. I'll just leave it at that. It's, it's, it's I, I never appreciated my success as much as I should have. I don't even know if I've had that much success. I mean, I've just kind of, you know, been blessed or lucky, as some people would say. Yeah, I don't know. That's just how I feel. That's Maybe. pretty significant, huh? Yeah, I mean, but uh, I just had great timing, uh, some great teammates, uh, put a lot of work in, and I guess it's. You know, if you put in the work, then you'll reap the benefits of it. Uh, more so, I, I appreciate the process and the journey more than uh, the uh, trophy. So have you changed how you define success in your mind? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's changed a lot. It changes every year, actually.